So, Happy New Year's uh, to all of you. Um, I wanted to talk about something that I came out of my mouth uh, years ago when I was talking to a client. It was a phrase that was called, it's good to feel good. One of the things that came out of my training a long time ago was uh, the need to look, kind of look at how I was treating myself and, and how I was engaging in physical activity and training before uh, to get to the Olympic Games. And I found that I was doing many things that, that caused me to not feel good and therefore impede my performance. So out of that came this phrase, it's good to feel good, that I use with my clients, meaning that are you doing things in your life, are you eating in a way, are you exercising in a way that's either causing you to feel good or to feel better, or are you doing things that take you down the other side of the slope and the feeling worse? So here's an example. Uh, you might go out and have uh, a couple of cocktails and you feel good for a moment and then you feel lousy. So the question that I would pose is, you know, did that make you feel good uh, and was that lasting? Did that do something for you long term? Um, I'm not saying that you should or shouldn't do this. I'm just saying that everything that, that you do uh, that affects you physically, uh, you may want to just simply ask yourself the question, does this make me feel good and does it last? So when you start to eat better on a regular basis, when you start to eat more clean foods, less processed foods, eat a little bit less, you might find that you feel better. So is it good to feel good or is it not so good to feel good? It's simply a question that I would ask of you and all of my clients, the same one I asked for myself years ago. So if you take that same phrase, it's good to feel good, and apply it to exercise, you find that the time that you invest in yourself by physically moving creates a sense of vitality, creates a sense of relaxed calmness perhaps, uh, maybe more clear thinking, um, maybe your whole day works better. So it might be uh, useful to, to go, aha, well, I want to do things that make me feel good. Um, might I be better off making time to do things like exercising for even 20 minutes uh, as opposed to doing something else that may not be as good for me? Uh, certainly we all have lots of obligations in life. Uh, certainly if you have kids, they're your number one obligation. But beyond that, uh, I pose the question, how are you taking care of yourself in a way that makes you feel good? In a very long lasting way, in a way that's sustainable for you. Are you working out seven days a week for an hour and a half every day? Does that makes you feel good? Well, okay, is it sustainable? So how long can you make your life work in a way, and your exercise program work in a way where you feel good for a long period of time? So the question is, what do you do in your life that makes you feel good? And is it really worthwhile? So some of the things that I used to do when some people still do and I still do, you know, make me feel good for a moment or two, but then, you know, long term it, it's not lasting. So look at your life and simply without any sort of judgment one way or the other go, okay, well, are the things that I'm doing to take care of myself, do they lend themselves for me to feel good? That's simply it. It's good to feel good. 